Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget how you brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget, no, never. Tell me how can I forget what you've done for me? How can I forget how you set me free? How can I forget how you brought me out? How can I forget? No, never. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. As I often say, we give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, good. and his mercy endured forever. Yeah. I can truly say I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And as the Bible says, enter in his gates with what? Thanksgiving. And enter in his courts with what? Praise. Praise. Amen. So we... Coming to his gates, when we walked in, we should have said, thank you, Lord. Amen. And when we come into his, his court, amen, we should give him a praise. So let amen. us praise you, Lord. Amen. He is good. Amen. We praise him. We praise him because he's the, he's the supreme. Amen. He is, he is our all in all. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you. There's a word that I'm looking for. It's escaping me right now, but it just reminds me of his, his total omnipotent, you know, he, his total authority. Yeah. Amen. And we give him praise and honor for that. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. So we come into his courts because he alone, he judges us. Amen. And he helps us uh, and, and to get and to receive all that we need to get and to get all that we need to receive. Amen. And we praise the Lord. So right now, we want to come before the Lord in prayer. And as we come before the Lord in prayer, if you have a particular prayer request, you can let it be known at this time. Steadfast and unmovable. Yeah. Yeah. Your labor is not in vain. Yes. In the Lord. All right. Pray for the success of our service on today. Yes. Amen. And the Lord will grant us wisdom and knowledge and understanding. Uh, we pray for those that will be tuning in, um, listening uh, to the Bible study. Uh, we pray that God will uh, touch hearts and minds and spirits. Amen. My sister. My sister, praise the Lord. that. 
All right. If there be none other requests, you'd like to ask the church to stand. And let every heart pray, O oh, gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. We come before you, Lord. We just say thank you and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for how you blessed us and watched over us and kept us even to this very hour. We ask you, Lord, that you continue to strengthen our hearts and our minds and our spirit in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you would bless each and every request that's been made known. Remember men and women and children everywhere, Lord. Save and add to the church daily, such as should be saved. Yes. We pray, Lord, that you would bless heads of state, those that are in powers and authority, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you would bless our Bible study on tonight. Yes. Let something be said and done to encourage and to inspire our hearts. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Lord, you be the anchor. Yes. You hold us step back. Yes. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Lord, keep us with our hearts and our minds stayed on you. Hallelujah. Bless us, Lord, that we walk worthy of the vocation wherewith you have called us. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, that we walk in this power and walk in thine authority. Hallelujah. That we do your most perfect will in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lord, send your healing. Hallelujah. Send your deliverance. Hallelujah. Send your glory. Hallelujah, Lord, we pray that you would bind every evil spirit, every demonic power that would come to hinder. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, turn our mess into a testimony. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Turn everything that's going on around us, Lord. Hallelujah, into a testimony of your greatness, into a testimony of your power. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Father, we'll give you glory and honor. Hallelujah, Father, we'll lift you up. Hallelujah, Father, we'll walk in the light. Hallelujah, we'll see the light. Hallelujah, which is in heaven. Lord, we pray that you would save uh, and add daily to the church. Our God, such as should be saved. Father, we thank you and praise you for our spot of holiness. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Come on and give him a praise. Hallelujah. I'm glad about holiness. Hallelujah. I'm glad. Thank you, Lord, that he called us and he justified us. And he brought us out of darkness uh, into his marvelous light. Thank you, Lord. I woke up this morning and I realized uh, that uh, today marks that uh, 34 years. Amen. Since the Lord has saved me. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 34 years to the day. Uh, because Amen. I went to a, a Bible study. <laughs> I went to, as they say, I went to a meeting one night. Yes, <laughs> Thank yes. you, Lord. The Lord told me. He, he, he actually told me. He says, Wednesday is Bible study. Go to Bible study. Uh, yes. to, to help encourage you, Marshall, the young man that invited me to Bible study, he did it over a year ago. It was a year that had passed. Uh, and he told me, I want you to come to Bible study with me. Wow. Uh, thank you, Lord. Good and a year later, uh, I showed up in Bible study. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Wow. I was wounded, worn, and sad, but I came. <laughs> Hallelujah. But he healed me. Uh, he saved me. He delivered me. Amen. So I thank God for that. Thank you, Lord. I don't take it as a light thing. Amen. Uh, Hallelujah. And then on that Thursday, uh, so tomorrow, uh, he would have been filled with the Holy Ghost because I got baptized that Wednesday. Thank you, Lord. And then that Thursday, yeah. I came on in and uh, Brother John Crosby he came and said, hey, you need the Holy Ghost. <laughs> I said, well, if I need it, I want it. <laughs> I don't know whether it would be a Holy Ghost. <laughs> right. So I did not, I did not wrestle. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. And the Lord filled me with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Ain't been the same since. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So I praise God for that. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you, yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I want you to uh, turn with me uh, tonight. And uh, Corey, I want you to be a reader. Thank you, Lord. Uh, uh, Romans. Romans uh, chapter 
number 12. Amen. Very, very familiar, very familiar passage of scripture. And uh, uh, last, last, last week we talked about uh, the mindset of a warrior. Amen. How we should always be in warrior type mode, knowing that you're a soldier in the army of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We should always have that mindset. Hallelujah. Because the enemy, he wants to kill, steal, and destroy. He's always right. out there trying to get us. Amen. 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 And we, I didn't say that last week, last week, but I'm going to say it this week. We should uh, not always be playing defense with the enemy. Amen. We wow. should run some offense as well. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Yes. Thank you. Lord. In other right. words, we should do some things that are preemptive uh, as far as uh, disturbing his plans. Yes. Uh, like the Bible says, don't give space or room to the enemy. Right. Amen. 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 We should be able to spot him and cut him off. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Uh, don't take the bait. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. So, so, so tonight, tonight, I want to talk about uh, uh, the mindset of a believer, the mindset of a believer or a saint of God. Amen. There's a certain, if you are a believer, amen, and a believer is, let me ask you a question. What, to, when I say believer, what, uh, what would be a good working definition of a believer? When I say, when you say to someone, I'm a believer, Amen. Or someone says to you that they are a believer. What what kind of definition uh, comes to mind? My sister, you gotta be loud because the people need to hear you in, in TV. That bill. actively follows after God's word and not just hears it but do it. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And 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 what that that key word she says actively follows. Go ahead. I would say consistent. Yes, being consistent, consistently, actively following the word of God. Amen. Is that right, Mother David? Yes, I was going to say basically the same thing she said. I was thinking it rather obedience in action. Yes, yes, amen. Can we all agree on that? Yes. Yes. Obedience in action. Yes. Amen. Actively following on a daily basis. Amen. On a daily basis. And those that say they are believers and don't do that, they're going to be disappointed. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, Lord, because it takes it, it takes activity in, in daily following consistency, a level of commitment uh, to, to be a true believer. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. My God. That's good. So, so that's tonight. That's what we want to talk about. Amen. Uh, uh, being consistent, uh, being active, uh, because a lot of people can profess Christ, uh, but when the rubber meets the road, uh, when it comes time to show up, you know, uh, it, it, uh, it, is that what you're saying consistent with your actions? Amen. Is what you're saying consistent uh, with your actions? Amen. Thank you, Lord, because uh, those that were uh, disappointed uh, when Jesus gave the parable, he told them, uh, 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 I never knew you. Uh, depart from me. Uh, uh, you work over of iniquity. But they said, Lord, we, we prophesied in your name. We, we did this in your name. We did that in your name. Uh, but, but the Lord said, well, I never knew you. Uh, depart from me. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So it's not about what I say. Uh, it's about what I say and do. Right. Amen. Amen. Not just a, a, a forgetful hearer of the word, but a doer yeah. uh, of the word. That's what makes you a believer. Yeah. Amen. 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 Uh, my brother. So for the Lord to say, I never knew you, does that mean, in other words, I never had a relationship with you? Right. That's what that no means. Relationship. Right. And, yes. and that's a good point. Right. Uh, it comes from that root word, intimacy. Okay. Amen. I was never intimate with you. Amen. We were not intimate with one another. Yeah. Uh, having that close relationship. Huh? Even though you were in the church, uh, I never knew you. 
Well, you came to the physical church. You weren't in the body. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's a different. Right. Yeah. Because they said we prophesied in your name. They were doing it. They was in some church. Right. Doing right. something. But right. Never knew the Lord. Right. He in, never knew in, them. Yep. In the body. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Good point. Thank you, Jesus. So, so when looking then at uh, uh, our study on tonight out of the book of Romans. I want to I wanna kind of start at the last verse uh, because uh, starting at the last verse helps us to understand uh, the whole direction of the whole chapter and the whole chapter is about the mindset of a believer. Amen? So, so it's just like God. God, uh, he declared the end from the beginning. Amen? So tonight we want to declare the end uh, 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 from the beginning. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Y'all with me tonight? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. I, I, I feel like I, I feel like the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So we see here then uh, Romans chapter 12 and verse 21. I read. What's that say? Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good. All right. It says. Be not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with what? Good, good. good. So when we, when we think of that, you know, when, when we allow evil to overcome us, we lose. Huh? When I allow evil to have its place in my life, I lose. You lose. If you allow evil to have its way in your life. Amen. Amen? And God is against evil. Amen? That's what the battle is against. That's what the struggle is against. Yes. The struggle and the battle is against evil. Yes. Evil forces. The enemy is trying to take you out, win over you. Amen? And when I allow it, amen, and I don't overcome it, I lose. Amen. 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 And then he makes another profound statement. He says, but overcome what? Evil. Evil, Evil with what? Good. So when, when I overcome the way that I have to overcome evil, this is this is this is this makes sense. When I on the way that I have to overcome evil, I have to overcome evil by doing what? Good. Good. Amen. Then I'm victorious. Amen. Yeah. When I'm placed in an evil situation, mm -hmm. uh, my, my flesh may say, do evil. My spirit says, uh, do good. Yeah. Uh, the Holy Ghost says, do good. Yeah. God says, do good. Yeah. The Word says, do good. <laughs> uh, am I right? Yeah. And I have to, I have to surrender yeah, uh, to the fact that I have to do good. Yeah. Amen. In order to maintain the victory. Uh, that's the mindset of a believer. Uh, the believer has to be dedicated to doing good at all times. Uh, in every situation. In every condition. Amen. There's never a time to sin. Never a time to do evil. Uh, it's never a time to, to, to surrender. I'm going to lay down my my religion, no. huh? Gonna, after I get done with you, I'm going to pick it back up again. Uh, uh, that's not a believer. Right, uh, right, right. I cannot, I cannot, I shall not allow myself to be uh, uh, fooled by, uh, 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 I can lay it down and pick it back up again. Amen. 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 I have to be consistent in my actions. Amen. Yes. Am I right? Yes. Uh, I, I, I got to be faithful unto death. Amen. Am I right? Hallelujah, oh, my God. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. Thank yes. you, Amen. G. That's a good introduction. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, Thank you, G. Now, yes, now, now, the beauty, the beauty of it, the reason why we started there is because this whole chapter now is dedicated to how do we get there. Uh, to how do we get there? Because 
a person just doesn't get to uh, verse 21, be uh, not overcome of evil, but overcome evil with good overnight. Amen. Amen. It's a process. Yes. Uh, am I right? Yes. Amen. Uh, it's a, life is a process. Yes. Amen. That's why we got tests and trials on every hand. Yes. Uh, it's a process. Yes, it is. Uh, and, and the key to it is learning. Uh, the key to it is being open. Uh, the key to it is being humble. Uh, the key to it is seeking the Lord. Am I right? Uh, am I right? Yes. Uh, there's, there's, there's some things that Paul is talking about in this 12th chapter that we have to uh, adapt, uh, have, to, have to allow it to sink in, has to become our way of thinking, our mindset. Amen? Amen? Amen. All right. So let's go to the, to the first verse then. Let's go to the first verse. My goodness. My God. Uh, uh, before we read that first verse, I want to make this statement that, that everything uh, we have and everything we do must be dedicated to the Lord. Yes. Amen? Thank you, Lord. Yes. Everything. Uh, everything. Yes. Am I right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, her, one person say. Well, what I, what I do at my house is my business. And what I do at the church is God's business. Huh? 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 People say that. Uh, what I do at the church, that's God's business. What I do at my house is my business. Yeah. Uh, when I heard that, uh, my mind automatically rejected that. Uh, that's not, that's not, and I was young in the Lord when I heard that. Yes. Uh, and, and I thank God that my mind rejected that. Yes. Because if I had adopted that thought, amen, I wouldn't be here today. Amen. Uh, thank amen. you, Lord. Uh, so, 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 so everything, everything that we are and everything that we have has to be dedicated to to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, Y'all with me? That's true. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So, all right. Let's, let's read there. Where we at? Read. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, mm -hmm. that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. All right. So, the mindset of a believer. Paul begins, he says, I, I beg you, I beseech you, therefore, brethren. And that therefore is connecting everything from Romans chapter 1 to Romans chapter 12. Amen. To everything that God has done for you. Amen. Everything that he has said. Amen. Amen. Uh, God, is, if you read Romans chapter, uh, Romans, it tells you that how God has, has, has we were condemned, uh, but we were justified by Christ. Hey, then he sanctified us, hallelujah, and, he, and then he, he's going to glorify us, and he's given us grace and mercy and all of the above, amen? And it talks about how, how God has saved us, amen? How he has delivered us, you follow me? Uh, there's some great things that went into your salvation. Amen. There's some great things that happened uh, for, for your deliverance. Amen? Amen. Thank you, Lord. And not only that, God delivered you so that you can serve Him. Uh, not serve yourself, but serve Him and Him alone. Yes. Hallelujah. Not the enemy, uh, not yourself, not anybody in that sense, but serve Him uh, exclusively. Yes. Amen? So we see here, He says, I beseech you, therefore, notice what He says. What does He say? Brethren. Brethren. So this is written to the saints. Right. Amen. It's not written to the world. Huh? Because, because the world are not believers. Amen. The saints are believers. Because we, I, we adapt our lifestyle to him. Yeah. Amen. 
Thank you, Lord. You we give up everything that we used to be for Him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Like like the scripture talks about Jesus. It says, uh, he talks about, let this mind be in you, which was also where? Amen. In Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be what? Amen. Equal with God, but did what? Humbled himself. Huh? Huh? And became what? Obedient Amen. unto death. Even the death of the cross. So, 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 so when that scripture talks about Christ hobbling himself, uh, he was, he was rich, uh, but he came poor for our sake. Amen. He, he, he surrendered so that we could be set free. Amen. Hallelujah. He, in other words, he gave himself up to the enemy. Uh, so that we could, he could be the ransom for us, yeah. huh? to set us free, huh? to free from what? Free from our sins, free from our behaviors, free from the penalty of sin and death. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Christ set us free. Hallelujah. So that, why did he set me free? So that I can serve God. Yeah. Huh? So that I can live holy. Yeah. Huh? So that I can worship God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. We, when we realize that that, that, that I don't want to get off into this tangent, but we got to realize that when we came into this world, we were the objects of God's wrath. We were the enemies of God. Haven't done nothing. Uh, but, but because we had that sinful nature, uh, sooner or later, it was going to be made manifest what type of person you are. Uh, hallelujah. But, but Christ came. Uh, in that, in that, in that while we were yet sinners, yes. yeah, uh, yeah. barely for a righteous man would some die. For adventure, were for a good man, some would even dare to die. Uh, but in, but, but in that while we were what? Yes. Christ died for the ungodly, yes. for you and I. He gave his life. Thank he you. freed us. Yes. Amen? Amen. He freed us. Uh, so as a believer, I got to realize I'm free. Amen. Uh, if I accept Christ as my Lord and Savior, I confess him, I believe on him, I'm free. Free. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. My God. Free. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. Now, let's let's look here. He said, he's talking to the brethren, talking to the saints. By the what? Mercies of God. By the mercies of God. Read. By the mercies of God, as he presents your bodies. In living sacrifice. All right. Now, when he talks about body here, he's talking about total dedication. God wants your body. Uh, and if you look at it, man, uh, we abuse our bodies. Mm. We drink, we smoke, we don't mm. rest, or we rest too much. We, rest, we don't rest enough, or we rest too much. We don't eat enough, or we eat too much. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you follow me? We do things to our body. Uh, uh, and, and, but God, he made the body for him. Uh, know ye not that ye are the what? Temple. Temple of the Holy Ghost. And God dwelleth in you. Uh, so what should come to my mind, it is, if, God, if God wants my body, I have to treat my body right. right. Uh, God wants you to treat your body right. Uh, when Paul said to Timothy, uh, a, a bodily exercise profited little, but, but rather exercise yourself unto godliness, he wasn't downplaying bodily exercise. He was just doing a comparison to the two. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So you should exercise your body. Yeah. Uh, you should exercise your mind. Yeah. You should exercise your spirit. Yeah. Uh, uh, you follow what I'm saying? Yeah. You have to take care of yourself. Uh, if you don't take care of yourself, how are you going to take care of the things of God? Amen? Amen. Thank you. I was reading a book, hallelujah, and it was a minister's handbook. And, and in the introduction, it talked about this zealous young preacher uh, that was up all night studying the word, preparing himself, you know, for the assignment of the next day. Uh, and then the older preacher, uh, uh, he said, he said, well, what have you been doing? He said, well, I've been taking care of the word. 
Uh, the young preacher said that. And the older preacher said, well, I tell you what, son, I'm going to go lay down. I'm going to take care of this body. Uh, uh, and, and, you know, you've got to have a balance. Yes. Uh, you've got to take care of the word. My God. See, now, now I'm thinking about what my, what my wife, uh, uh, when, when I had to learn that myself when I was, uh, I was zealous. I always had my nose in the book uh, coming up. Uh, uh, and having all these children and everything like that, and uh, my wife got a little uh, got a little mad with me one day. She said, "Well, she said, Frank, you know, there's more to it than the Bible. You know, you got to get your nose out the Bible. You know." And in my mind, I'm saying the blood of Jesus is against you. <laughs> Went to Bible class that night. Uh, Bishop got up and said, "You brothers." Need to get out of that Bible and start talking to your, your, your family. <laughs> I'm looking around saying, you talk to the bishop. Y'all see that big old smile uh, on the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we, have, we have to have a balance. You got to take care of your body yeah. uh, to be able to do the things of the Lord. Amen. The, your, you, your body was created for the Lord. Amen? Amen. And if we want to get real deep, uh, even when you die, he's going to resurrect your body uh, and give you a new body. Uh, put things back together because that's how, that's how thoughtful God is about your body. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. So, so he says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, mm. present your what? Body. Your body, your body, your body, your body, your, your physical body. And in, in the contents of your physical body, your mind, your spirit, and your soul. Amen? You have to present it. Huh? Huh? What did he say? Present your bodies as a what? A living sacrifice. Amen? And, and that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move on because uh, I don't want to stay on these points because I want to get somewhere. Uh, but he says, present your bodies as a what? Living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. That means in, in everything you do, uh, everything you do should be a ministry unto the Lord. Uh, we don't think about it like that. But everything you do, when you sit down and eat, uh, it's a ministry unto the Lord. Yes. Amen. Don't you sit down and bless your food? Yes. Uh, give God thanks for this yes. meal. Uh, thank you, Lord. It's a ministry Unto the Lord. When you when you wash yourself and, and bathe yourself, uh, it's a ministry unto the Lord. Uh, when you interact with people uh, and talk to people, if you can, should consider it a ministry unto the Lord. When you are working, when you are on your job, uh, it's a ministry unto the Lord. The Lord even goes into your bedroom. He said, marriage uh, is honorable in all and the bed of the fire. Uh, but whoremongers and adulterers, God of Dubai, it's a ministry uh, unto the Lord. Everything, your finances, is a, God gives them to you so you can be a good steward over it to accomplish his will and his purpose. Everything, your car that you drive, the Lord gives that to you. To serve him. Yeah. Huh? Come on here somebody. Yeah. The clothes on your back. Hallelujah. God gives them to you. Even the Bible tells you how to dress. Huh? Am I right? Yeah. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Everything mm. is a ministry unto the Lord. When you seek it after a wife. Or, you, or, 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 or a man is coming for a wife. Hallelujah. There's a way to do it. Uh, why? Because it's a ministry unto the Lord. Having friends. Uh, when you are a believer, God even inspects your friends. Tell you don't keep company with fornicators. Uh, my God, I feel like preaching now. Uh, don't do it. Uh, thank you, Lord. It tells you how to have relationships with friends and, and how to deal with enemies. Am I right? Yeah. It's a ministry unto the Lord. Not just when you come to the house and, and preach and teach uh, and sing before the Lord. It goes deeper than that. Yeah. Everything you do, yeah. uh, everything you have 
supports the ministry of Jesus Christ. Uh, you got to think like that. Uh, because if you don't, the enemy can get advantage over you. Uh, my God, ooh, I feel him in here. Uh, don't give space to the devil. Don't allow a, a, a carnality or your thought that this is my space, this is my tablet, uh, I can do what I want to do with it, I can yeah. look at stuff that I don't know I shouldn't, but it's yeah. mine. Yes. Uh, that's, that's giving room and space to Amen. the enemy. Amen. Uh, this tablet belongs to my God. If we thought like that, this tablet belongs to the Lord. Amen. Huh? Thank you, Lord. We ain't going to be looking at a whole lot of stuff. Yes. If I thought my TV belongs to the Lord, yes. oh, I think I'd turn off some stuff. Uh, when I hear a lot of cussing and fussing in there, yes. I get a little uncomfortable. Uh, instead of just telling the children, y'all go in the other room, y'all go in the other room. Maybe I need to turn it off and turn it. Yes. Huh? Yes. Maybe that's a signal. Yes. Huh? You follow what I'm saying? Yes. What makes you different than the children? Huh? He said, be as little children. What make what that couple shop? What make you different from them? Huh? Your age, I, I can handle it. Huh? But let's see, when you go to bed at night, what you're dreaming about? What you're thinking about throughout the day. Huh? My God, I gotta calm myself down. He couple shop. Everything. 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 Huh? Uh, I got. I got to check out myself. That's right. Uh, That's I right. like. I like cologne. Uh, I like cologne. Yes. Uh, but but when I squirt it, I'm thinking. Oh, uh, do thoughts come to my mind? Oh, I wonder. Wonder how many girls I can catch with this. Oh. Huh? I wonder how many heads I'm gonna turn with this. Yeah. Ooh, let me put a little bit more. Can <laughs> huh? I watch it? Yes. Can I watch it? Yes. Huh? Well, I trained my mind. I said, my wife gonna like this. My wife gonna smell this. She gonna like it. Yeah. Uh -huh. so, uh, you follow me? Yeah. It's a mind thing. Yes. Huh? Gotta watch it. Amen. If I don't watch it, huh? I'm gonna be in trouble. Yeah. Amen. Uh, a little yeah. leaven, guess what? Oh, oh, wow. My God. Come on, give God a praise. Yes, yeah, Lord. Cool. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Everything is a ministry. It is. Everything, everything is a ministry, and God is watching everything. Yes, is. Amen. Yes, Hallelujah. Be holy. Yes. I am holy. Yes. Yes. That's all He said. Be holy. For I am holy. Why? Yes. Because we're made in His image and His likeness. Yes. Yes. Am I right? Amen. Hallelujah. We can do it, King. Amen. Uh, yes, this is with that mindset, the mindset of a believer. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now notice what he said. He said, present your bodies. They were talked about what a living sacrifice is. And that living sacrifice is, is, is daily sacrificing unto the Lord. Uh, daily living for him. Uh, daily. Thank you. And everything you do, word, thought, and deed, yeah. that's how you present your body as a living sacrifice. Amen. 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 Now, how does he want you to do it? He wants you to do it how? Holy. 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 That means without sin. Acceptable unto God. Now, what does that mean? Acceptable unto God. The way he wants it. The way he wants it. What, what pleases him. What pleases him. So I can't do it the way I want to do it. Right. Uh, obedience is better than what? Sacrifice. That's what got King Saul in trouble. He did it. He wanted to do it the way he wanted to do it. Got him in trouble. Huh? Huh? Am I right? right? Thank you, Lord. So you can't do it the way you want it. Amen. Huh? So you got to do it the way God wants it. Am I right? Now here's the kicker. Here's the kicker. I got to find out. I got to search out how God wants it. Uh, and that just come to you overnight. Yeah, you gotta, he, he got it to where you got to search after it. You got to cry after it. Uh, you got to hunger and thirst after it. Uh, you got to pray. Uh, you got to meditate. You got to read. 
Huh? Uh, you got you to be led by the Holy Ghost yes. uh, uh, to, to do what's acceptable unto God. Yes. Uh, hallelujah. It just doesn't happen. No. Uh, you got you to gotta, you gotta open your mind. Yeah. Uh, and you got to, you what do you say? Ask and it shall be what? Yes. Seek and you what? Yes. Knock and what? Yes. Doors yes. shall be open. Meditate uh, on that word. How often? Yes. Day and night. Hallelujah. You got it. And what does that word meditate mean? Woo, we getting into something now. What, uh, what does the word meditate mean? You used to listen to answers. Listen to answers? I like it. What else? <laughs> Focus? Check yeah. uh, on what? On the word. Amen? It means you get you a scripture and you muse it around in your mind all day. Uh, thinking about that word. Uh, asking deep, God to open, deeply. yeah, deeply. Yeah. Asking God to open up your understanding on just that one verse. Huh? Yeah. Thinking about it. Huh? a word, God, will, God, God, why? Ooh, I feel him in here. God will <laughs> send you a word. He huh? yeah. He'll, He'll just send you the word love. Huh? And sometimes we just oh, love, love, okay, in love. But no, God is trying to get your attention, yeah. huh? so He can open your mind to the aspects of love. Yes. Uh, he'll send you a word, grace. Yes. Huh? So open your mind to the aspects of grace. Yes. Amen? Hallelujah. And that's how God works. Meditate on it. Muse on it. Huh? Meditate. Talking about it. Huh? Murmuring it in your mind. Repeating it. Yes. Uh, asking God, God, open up my understanding. Yes. Uh, God, woo! It's, 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 it's an honor to know certain things, but it's a great honor to know God. Yeah. Huh? Uh, My brother? I was going to say everything that we do is predicated on love. On love. The whole ministry is about love. That's what it's about. Uh, anything outside of that is not the ministry that not, God is calling for. Because love. God is love. <laughs> yeah. So anything outside of that, you fumbled the ball. You fumbled it. And you didn't get that of yourself. The Lord revealed that to you. Amen? Um, isn't that true? Yes. Hallelujah. My God in heaven. Thank you. And that's necessary. Yeah. Amen? It's necessary for me to, to, to find out what God calls acceptable. Because I don't have to please man. Amen. I got to please God. Amen. That's right. That's Amen? Right. And, and a lot of times... A lot of times, uh, you pleasing God will disrupt man. Oh, yeah. Huh? Oh, but yeah. Don't worry about it. All the, all the huh? Don't worry about it because oh, God will make your enemies huh, at peace with you yes. or he'll make them your footstools. <laughs> yeah, either or. Amen. So don't worry about it. Right. Well, uh, uh, I think one of, them, one of them apostles said, is it right for me to obey God or man? Huh? We, yeah. Come on here. Am I right? Amen. So I gotta find out what God calls acceptable. Huh? That 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 one brother uh, that was uh, had the task. David gave him the task of carrying the ark. Huh? Back to. Uh, uh, Jerusalem. They, 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 Jerusalem. They, yeah, yeah. They they weren't going to Jerusalem. Which say? User. <laughs> yeah. He was carrying that ark. Huh? Him and another brother on a wagon. On a donkey. Mm -hmm. uh, and they didn't stop to read uh, in, in the book of Leviticus on how to carry that ark. Right. Uh, and the ark, y'all know the story, slipped and fell. Mm -hmm. uh, and the brother, he had good intentions. Uh, Whoa, let me put this back up. I ain't gonna let this fall. Uh, and God struck him dead. Made an example of it. Wow. Amen. Example of it. Thank you, Lord. Why? Because they weren't doing it the way God wanted to be done. Mm -hmm. Amen? Thank you, Lord. I don't want to be struck dead. No, and no. I, was that, was them two that didn't get their tithes and offerings? And then I said, fire, yeah, my sister. Going back to what you said, Bishop, uh, when God gives you a word, uh, when he gives it to you for a reason, yeah. it's not because he doesn't know what you're going to do with it. Right. And what happens is, if you continue meditating on that word, then God will break it down so simple just for you. Yeah. And then he can turn around and give you a pair 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He'll break it down. He'll make it very close. True. Yes, he will. And then he'll turn around and give you an example according to the word. Bye bye. Wow. But bye if bye. you let it go, you yeah. know, it's like you're not concerned. But I feel like God is testing you when he do that. Yeah. If you're really interested in following after him. Yeah. Because he, when he gives you the word, it's not to just, oh, I got this thought. Right. And you bypass it and let it go. Yeah. But you keep meditating. You keep praying about it. You know, give me deeper depth. Understand. You know, and God will break that thing down so plain. And yeah. He'll give you an example to make you understand it even better. Right. And let me, let me just add one little thing to what she said. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to need it. God just doesn't have conversation with you to have conversation. Because something in your life is going to happen. Uh, and you need that word. Uh, and God says, I'll supply all your needs. Uh, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. My brother, my brother. Hey! Wait a minute. Won't he do it? <laughs> Intentions. Yes. That don't work. Right? It don't work with God. A lot of people are going to go to hell on good intentions. Good intentions. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. How they do? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. And they, they went over there and got it. Yeah. Amen. And then they danced into uh, to where they were taken. Yeah. Amen. The yeah. blessings of the Lord. So, so when you find out that you're doing some things wrong, Stop. what do you got to do? Stop. Stop. Uh, and further inqu and, and investigate, inquire, uh, get it right. Uh, God gives you space to repent. Amen. Uh, and repentance, I found out, is a powerful thing. Uh, there's no weakness in repentance. Amen. Hallelujah, oh, my God. There's weakness in continuing on. Uh, the power is, is when you repent and turn. Uh, and get it right. Yes. Uh, hallelujah. My God. Somebody had their hand up. Oh, okay, my brother. No, I was just thinking on that story as you was telling it. Uh, that thing uh, perplexed David. Oh, yeah. He was, he was, <laughs> that messed him up. He had, you know, he went into like, you know. Right. And the seek God. Yeah, yeah. Right. He, he was confused. He Find was out what God yeah, wanted. He was very confused yeah. and hurt. By right. God. He was confused. Because you can't. That tells us you can't handle God anyway. He's supreme. Yeah. Uh, he's an awesome ruler. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. Uh, he he humbles himself to deal with us. Right. <laughs> yeah. right. Hey, hallelujah. Yeah. Wow. Thank you, Lord. My yeah. God. So aren't we not to humble ourselves yes, uh, to deal with God? Yes. Uh, hallelujah. God is there that word. I'll try to search that word in my mind. He's sovereign. Yes. He's a sovereign. What does that word sovereign mean? Total control. Total control. Absolute, Absolute control. Absolute. Amen. Uh, Absolute problem. Amen. He's a, and, and that, that word comes from he's a government unto himself. Uh, thank you, Lord. He's a government unto himself. <laughs> the word who, who, hallelujah. Yeah. Who, who, who does God answer to? I'm getting off track now. But who does God answer to? Uh, <laughs> uh, his words are perfect. Uh, past finding out. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. All right. All right, let's get back. Thank you. See, we we getting we getting out there. <laughs> All right, what verse we in? Uh, 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 living sacrifice, holy, and what? Acceptable. Acceptable unto God. Read. Which is your reasonable service. Now, which is your what? Reasonable, reasonable service. Your reasonable, it's your reasonable service. That means everything that you know about God, you go into your rational mind. It's rational uh, that I surrender to God. Yes. It makes sense. That I surrender to God. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. It's just my reasonable service. It's my rational way of thinking. Yes. It makes sense. Amen. Yes. That I do it God's way, uh, because my way failed. <laughs> uh, am I right? Amen. I can.
can say that. I can say it. My way has failed. Amen. And every time I try to do it my way, it will always fail. Amen. Uh, am I right? Yes. Thank you, Lord. So when he talks about reasonable service, he said, uh, 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 it, it, it seems logical. Huh? It, it, it is an act of, uh, that the mind, I got to figure out. It goes to that whole scripture there. I got to figure out what God is calling for. What is acceptable to God. Huh? I got to figure that out, Sylvester. Amen. I just can't go and lean to my own understanding. Uh, I've got to acknowledge God, not in some of my ways, but all my ways, yes. so that he can do what? God has to direct my path, yes. uh, because the path of a just man gets brighter and brighter unto a perfect day. Yes. Uh, I need God to direct me. Amen. Uh, I have to have God to direct me. Yes. Left to my own way, I'll, I'll end up in the destruction. Yes. Amen. Thank you. I need God. Amen. Amen. Right. Thank you, Lord. Don't we need God? Yes. Amen. And I'm going to be honest. Thank you, Lord. Uh, God, God needs us. Needs us as, 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 as representatives of him. Huh? Now, now, if I'm looking at myself as a unit, <laughs> say God needs me, I'm off base. Because yeah. huh? God can raise somebody else up. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Hallelujah. But, but as a people, according to his plan, yeah. God needs people to fulfill his plan. Right. Why not me? Right. Why not you? Right. It's rational. Yeah. Huh? Like, I, want, I want to be on the right side of right. Yeah. I want to be saved from a burning hell. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I don't preach. Uh, well, Jesus, maybe I shouldn't preach it. <laughs> hell and brimfire. <laughs> uh, but, but, but brimstone. There you go. Yeah. It, but but I, I got to escape that. I didn't like it whoopings. No. Uh, I didn't like it growing up. Uh, I got very few, matter of fact. My parents were older now. They, they, didn't, they didn't whoop me as much. Uh, thank you, Lord. And then, see, now, see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I know I probably shouldn't be talking about this on, on camera, but, you know, we used to make it a game because my father, he was older then. You know, at 7 o'clock, Wild Kingdom come on. You know, we get around the house messing around. And we have them chase us around because it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> it was bad, but it was fun. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thank you, Jesus. But, but you know, uh, my point is, you know, why not you? Why not me? Huh? Why not? Hallelujah. Let us serve God. Am I right? Yeah. Why not surrender to God? Because uh, he's going to get his number. Yes. Uh, something's yes, going to happen. Why not you be in that number? Yes. yes. Uh, hallelujah. Either you're going to do it willingly or forcefully. He's going to say you should bow, but if you don't, you will bow. Mm. You're going to, one way or another, he's going to get what he wants. My, my, my. Whether you do it, you know, willfully or my, my, by force and make you do it. My, my, my. He's going to get what he wants from you. Why not? All right, let's move on. Raise the second. Yep, very first two. And be not now, hold on. If you're reasonable service, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all got to forgive old pastor. I get caught up in words. But, but when he talks about service, it's your reasonable service. He's talking about there, it's your reasonable ministry to God. Amen. That's why I said that everything you do is a ministry to God. Amen. Uh, that's the only way God accepts stuff through ministry, through sacrifice, because that's 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 what makes him a God. Uh, any God you serve, you have to bring him a sacrifice. Uh, any God. Hallelujah. And, and, and there's false gods. Uh, there you go. But he's the only true and living God. Yes. Huh? So, so everything you do is a sacrifice or a ministry unto Him. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Y'all with me tonight? Amen. Thank you. All right, read now. Go ahead. And be not conformed to this world. Uh, be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed. Uh huh. By the renewing of your mind. All right. Now, now, when he talks about be not conformed to this world. 
Now think of that word conform. Amen. And it comes from a word that means schema. Uh, which, which comes from a word that means design. Amen. So, so think about it in this sense that, that when, uh, if I was a police officer, uh, I, I put on my, I put on my, my, my uniform. Right? And then when I come off of uh, my job, I put on uh, my, if I'm in my house, uh, I put on my relaxation clothes. Uh, then if I was going out on the town, I put on my glad rags. Uh, put on my good clothes. And, uh, get dressed up to go out. Right? So, so, so I'm, I'm conforming uh, to my environment. Uh, you follow me? Be, well, I'm, I'm just giving you an example of, of how I'm dressing. I'm conforming uh, to, to how I interact and what I'm doing. Uh, so what God is saying, uh, 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 be not conformed to what? This world. This, this world uh, he's talking about you as a man or a woman. Uh, no matter what position you in, if you're if, if I'm acting like a, a police officer, I got my uniform on, huh? I'm still a man or a woman of God. Huh? If if I'm at home, huh, I'm still a man or a woman of God. Yeah. If I'm out on the town, I'm still yeah. a man or a woman of God. Yes. Huh? The inner, what's in those clothes, huh? Is the is the real me? Yeah. It was in those clothes. Is the real you? God does not want you to conform to your environment. Right. Uh, he wants you to remain the same, Amen. Uh, no matter what environment you're in. Yeah. Amen. Uh, yes. Can't conform to it. Amen. Uh, I gotta be God. Yeah. Uh, no matter if I'm on the job, I gotta be God. Uh, if I'm at home, I gotta be God. Yeah. If I'm in the community, I gotta be God. Yeah. Uh, because that's who I am. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's who you are. Yeah. Amen. Uh, a man or a woman of God. Yeah. Uh, Amen. Am I right? Amen. So don't try to be like them. Amen. Right. Huh? Right. Israel got in trouble for being like them. Yes. Uh, read the whole book of Judges. The whole book of Judges is really a tragedy of them trying to be like them. When God says, you are a holy nation, yes. a royal priesthood, yes. a chosen generation, yes. huh? yes. awesome. we got to be like God. <laughs> okay, go ahead. What did you say? It's also what the word sanctify. Oh, what does it mean? What does it mean? It means to set separate from. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Did you hear what he said? He said that's the, what the word sanctify means. Yeah. Huh? And then I said, what does that mean? He said it means be separate from. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Set apart. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't live like the Canaanites. Amen. <laughs> Y'all with me tonight? Amen. Amen. Huh? <laughs> Leave all the lights alone. Am I right? Amen. Now, now, let me say this. What God has put in you it's powerful. Yeah. Amen? Amen? He don't want you to isolate yourself from him, yeah. but just live a separate life from him. Yeah. Yes. Don't, do, don't do the things they do. Right. That's right. Am I right? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That's right. Mm -hmm. I used to cringe up. You know, on the job, you know, they always have raffles and things like that. And, you know, we don't gamble. I hope we don't gamble. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, <laughs> thank you, Lord. And you know they used to, cause they have some pretty good causes, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, you know, and the Lord helped me, and cause you know I wanted to help them, cause they had some pretty good causes. You know, maybe give them a baby shower or yeah. or whatever, a wedding. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been there? Y'all know what I'm talking about. So I said, the Lord dropped in my mind. He said, well, just give a donation. Right. Just donate. Mm -hmm. 
Huh? And when they try to give you a ticket, just say, oh, don't worry about it. Right. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. Amen. They won? All right. Amen. Amen. See what I'm saying? God gives you wisdom on how to live with, with, with other people. Yes. Amen. Mm. So, that, so that you can influence them. Yes. Amen. You are the salt. Yes. You are the light. Amen. You follow me? Amen. So you have to be able to influence. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. We teach you tonight. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, so don't hide yourself. Now, don't look like an oddball. Huh? <laughs> Communicate. Uh, now, 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 when, 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 uh, I, I used to work at a place where every, it wasn't even every other word, it was every word was a cuss word. Huh? And, and the Lord said, well, that's how, Frank, that's how they communicate. So you got to learn how they're communicating. So when they use it, all them MFs and, and this and that, say, Frank, go over here and get that MF and bring him over here because I'm going to whoop his whoop, whoop, whoop. Huh? And I, you know, I had, to, I had to put two and two together. Okay, go get John. Bring John, bring John over here so that, so that he can chew him out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He bought it. Well, yeah, without, without being offended. Yeah. That's how they communicate. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, bro. No, I'm just. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Look, me and the Lord have some good conversations. See? Yeah. The Lord helps me. Yeah. Uh, sometimes it may seem kindergarten, but I need that kind of help. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's just a lot of times when you're quiet while they're communicating, uh-huh. they're noticing you too. Right, absolutely. They're noticing you and, and right. they're saying there's something different there yeah. that he doesn't communicate like us. Right. Yes. You know, and, and that's a witness. It's a witness. It's, it's, a witness. Salt. it's, it's, it's not that you're uh, so holy that you just condemn them because of their action. Because you was there at one time. Right, exactly. Yeah. You know, right. But you you let them know by your silence that hey I'm of a different order. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Why? Because we we get changed. Yes. Our desires change. Amen? Yes. Uh, and then, then we, we, you know, uh, I can't uh, 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 allow those, those, those things to continue in my mind. Because if I do, I'll find myself conforming. Amen? Amen. Amen. And I can't do that. Mm-mm. That's right. My brother? I was in the office the other day with some other managers. One of them went into that and then just cursed and talked all kind of ways. Right. And the other one said, well, you know, he don't curse, so, you know, keep that down, man. Don't, you know. Right. You know, preacher, man. Yeah, respect the man. Don't, you don't do that. Don't, don't do that in my office. Right. He's got to apologize. Boy, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to say right. that. I was going to you. I'm sorry. To right. Me, man. I, you know, but just because of the way I carry myself. That's life. I don't go around and tell them I don't do it. I just don't do it. Just don't do it. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. I agree. That's right. They know. Right. Amen. I don't wear a sign say I'm holier than now. <laughs> I'm saved right now. <laughs> your life. Right. Your life is your witness. Yes. Huh? Your, your actions is your witness. Right. Right. Amen. That makes a difference. Yeah. It does. Amen. Hallelujah. I love the Lord. Yeah. All right. Read. Where we at? To All right. Be not conformed to this world. Uh huh. But be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. All right. So you got to change the way you think to change your behavior. Amen. Amen. You got to change the way you think to change your behavior. Amen. Amen. People uh, in A, they talk about stinking thinking. Uh, If you think uh, a stinking way, you're going to have some stinking results. Amen. Mm. You got to change the way you think. Amen? And that's what the whole Word of God is about. That's what the renewing of the mind is about. Amen? Changing the way you think. All right, read. We're going to move quickly now. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. All right? So, 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 so God wants you to do those things. He wants to, you to prove what's what? 
That good, good and acceptable uh -huh. and perfect will of God. So that word prove means to find and, and follow God's will. That's what that word prove there means. You got to find out what God's word will is and follow it. Huh? When he talks about good, he's talking about you've got to uh, uh, find out what's beneficial. Huh? Do the things that are beneficial, uh, that benefits yes. uh, God. Uh, not benefit you, uh, but what benefits God. Yes. That's, that's deep, if you allow me to say it. Uh, because if you have a choice, well, am I going to please myself? Or am I going to please God? Huh? And we have to always do those things, Sister Connie, I'm with you with me, that pleases God, that yes. benefits God. Yes. Huh? Because if I seek to, to, to benefit God, God will benefit me. Yes. Right. Amen? Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. I can't, I can't, I was, I was, I was at a client's house, right? And uh, you know, not that I, not that I, uh, not that I was hungry or anything like that, but uh, he, but he did have some. It was something there that I wanted. <laughs> it's like some chips or something. <laughs> and uh, and and I don't even think I asked for it. I think I looked at it, and he said, "No, no, 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 no. You can't have this. This is for me." It's for me. Huh? And when he said that, fucking my mind, look at this selfish guy. <laughs> uh, 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 but, but, but he's thinking about what's for him. Uh, and the Bible says, this is, how I got, this is what made me think about selfishness. The Bible says it's more blessed to give than to receive. Way a different way of thinking different way of thinking. <laughs> Amen? So, so, so what would have been beneficial to him was to give it to somebody in need and then God will bless him exceedingly and abundantly. Yes. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but you know, uh, 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 flesh don't think that way. Why? Because he's not thinking the way of God. We got to think soberly according to the scriptures. What does the scriptures say? Yes. You follow me? Amen. Amen. Beneficial. Good. What's beneficial? What's right? Amen. Amen. What will cause peace to enter in? Mm. Huh? Do I got to have the last word? What's beneficial? Mm. Shut my mouth. Mm. Huh? Yeah. Well, because, because he wanted it for himself. Mm -hmm. And he given it to you that would have been a sacrifice. Sacrifice. And he didn't realize when you make sacrifices, God blesses you. He blesses you. Because you're doing something against the grain of your flesh. Yes. you teaching, mother. <laughs> Hallelujah. He blesses you very highly when you make sacrifices or deny yourself. Yes. Hallelujah. Did you hear what she said? I felt, I felt that every word. Amen. Uh, when you do things that go against your flesh. El, El Reckler's got a testimony. <laughs> Amen. He got a testimony. Thank you, Lord. Uh, and the Lord turned around and blessed him. Amen. Amen. Didn't he? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. When you do things, yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. That make the sacrifice. God will turn it around. Yes, he does. Yes, he huh? does. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. And bless you. Yes. Uh, what are you doing? Yeah. Uh, thank you, Lord. My God in heaven. My God. That's the way he is. Uh, hallelujah. What do you say? Can't be God given. Can't be God given. All right, read. Where we at? Verse 3. Uh huh. For I say, through the grace given unto me, to every man that is among you, not to think of himself more highly. All right, because I got to prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God, I can't think of the mindset of a believer, I can't think of myself more highly than I ought to think. Huh? I can't put myself on a pedestal. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, when you've done everything you can do, 
consider yourself a what? Unprofitable servant. Huh? Don't look for a pat on the back. Huh? Thank you, Lord. Do, do things so that God can see you. Do it secretly so God can reward you what? Oh, Open it. Amen. I got to prefer my brother or my sister. Amen. Live in humility. Walk in humility. Amen. Let God exalt you. Amen. Am I right? Let God lift you up. Huh? Because if I lift myself up, then I got to keep myself there. Huh? Then I got to plan and scot pl plot and scheme in order to keep myself there. Huh? But if God puts me there, uh, he'll put a hedge of protection uh, all around the box. Hallelujah. Can't nobody pull you out. Am I right? <laughs> no. It goes against the grain. Only God can do that. Only God. Amen. Hallelujah. Right, brother? Yeah, I want to say that. That's dangerous to try to, you know, people don't understand. You're trying to lift your, you're trying to, you know, I'm just giving an example. People going online and getting pastor's license. <laughs> you know, that's dangerous. Because, because, Very dangerous. no, because you, you're taking on a title that you haven't went through. There, there's a the reason. Right, the right. God brings us. God got decent in right. order. Yes, right. That's why we have to wait till God elevate us because yeah. you're trying to go uh, to a level where God hasn't elevated you to. That's so, it. So then you're now you're, you're not going to be able to handle the warfare on that level. No. So, exactly. so, so that's dangerous. You don't, you don't want to elevate yourself. Obviously. Look at Nebuchadnezzar. God blessed him to build a great kingdom. Then he said, look what my hands have done. Uh, immediately he fell. Dead. Dead as a doorknob. Amen? Because yeah. why? He exalted himself. Huh? Don't exalt yourself. Humble yourself. Read. This has got to be your mindset. Read. To every man that is the first in. Three. Uh -huh. Not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, uh -huh. but to think soberly. Now think soberly. Don't be intoxicated with the world, huh? with your own thoughts, or with the thoughts of others. Uh, don't let people pump you up and put you out there. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. Read. But to think soberly according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Now, he's saying uh, 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 live in the faith that God has given you. Uh, in other words, that word faith there means your means. Amen. Don't Try to go beyond what God has called you to be. Right. Amen. Don't compare yourself to other people. Amen. Huh? Amen. Right. You follow me? Amen. I used to be frustrated in the ministry early on. I'm, I'm, I'm almost, almost a gene, right? What's your first name? Glenn. Glenn. Uh, I'm in I'm in my first and second year of ministry, and I and I want to be like Bishop Gate Jakes, TD Jakes. Uh, I'm comparing myself to the Lord. I, I got the Holy Ghost. I can preach like him. Uh, 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 then I found myself being discouraged. Uh -huh. uh, and then the Lord took me aside and said, stop comparing yourself to other people. Yes, uh, you be who I called you to yes, be. Uh, and then Amen. when I received that, my life got better. Uh, I, I felt more at ease. I felt more comfortable in my own skin. Yes. Huh? That's right. Huh? Be you. Yes. Huh? Be the best version of you. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm talking about the godly you. <laughs> uh, my brother. Hey! Holly, don't, don't you want to be the godly you? <laughs> Amen. That's it. Go ahead, my brother. Right. Because sometimes we can have this fake humility that causes us to live beneath the privilege yes. of who we are, beneath the faith level. Yes. We should have beneath the level. And you talk about soberly and sober minded. Yes. You know, that means to be clear and yes. accurate. And, and yes. Yes. Well, I'm just sober, right? Well, you sober. Should divide our I'm not drunk. But I'm not drunk. Intoxicated. There was some sound from where it's obvious. Right. You have people that be depressed and oh, yeah. crying and drunk. 
your privileges. Amen. Uh, God, God has, has done a work in you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. So receive the blessings of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. This is a good Bible study. Can I ask you this? Oh, real quick. Um, could soberly also mean modestly? Uh, I, I believe it could be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because um, uh, it's, it's an offspring of that. Yes, to be modest. Yep. Absolutely. My brother? Pastor, one, one more thing. Something that I have to get over is dumbing myself down to make other people around me comfortable. Whoop! Yeah. <laughs> Amen. And so I had to really get over that because God called me, given me certain gifts or talents or abilities or level of faith, according to the scripture. Yes. And other people weren't there yet. And so sometimes it's hard to have a level of 10 faith people around you level five. Right. And not, I'm not, I'm not I understand what you're saying. Right, and then you should not come down to level five to appease the people around you. Mm-hmm. Because they'll use these scriptures conversely and inappropriately to say, don't think too much of yourself. Right. I'm, I'm a ten. Thank you, Jesus. I ain't yeah. mad at you a five, God. but I'm a ten. God. I mean, whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. So, uh, so I think it's important, and I had to, had to mature, right, to be comfortable in the skin that God gave me, yeah, the ministry God gave me, yeah, the ability that God gave me, the intellects or whatever, the rest, all that stuff is the gift that God gives us. Gifts. Yeah. Yeah. It's a gift. Yeah, it's a gift from God. We don't want to dumb down ourselves for the comfort of the mess. Right. Don't do it because because your wisdom will help elevate them. Yeah. You know. My brother, I mean my sister. Uh, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, I concur with what Brother Bill is saying because that's what we pray for. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. Yes. 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 Yes.
You know what Frank did? Fell on the ball. <laughs> I said, no, nope, I don't like him. I ain't throwing the ball to him. <laughs> huh? Wow. Wow. Yeah. Who did I hurt? I hurt myself. I hurt the team. Yeah. And he was sitting there looking at me. <laughs> I fell on the ball. Wow. Huh? What caused me to do that? Jealous. 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 Hatred. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dislike. <laughs> Competitive values and spiritual principles can't live in the same house. Can't live in the wow. same house. They can. I love that a long time. I like that. All right, we got to get my sister to hear my brother. Yes. Let the weak say he's strong. Let the weak say he's strong. And if you're poor, you can't be Yep. Sit. Mindset. To be a God's child, be a child of God, you have to acknowledge that you can't be saved. Yeah. Work toward it. Work toward it. You can't just sit on it and say, well, I don't have it. Right. Work toward it. Gifts. Who here? My brother. I was just thinking, like, you know, like what Pastor Jones was just saying, I was praying one day and I was asking the Lord, like, so I've come up around a lot of great men and you've seen a lot of stuff that they've done. So they're going on. Is that over? Is that done? You know, and the Lord let me know that power is still available. You need to press in as they press in. Yeah. And when you press in, I'll give you what you need to do greater work. Greater work. You can't sit back and say that's gone. You know, you can't do what somebody else is doing. Right. You ain't paying the price they're paying. Right. Right. These folks are praying a lot. They fasting. They reading. They doing. They Faith. getting close to God to get yeah. that kind of power. Yeah. The diligent souls shall be made fat. Right. right. Amen. Yes. All right, my brother, read. Where we at? I got five more minutes. But to think soberly, according as God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. All right, read. For as we have many members in one body, and all members have not the same office, so we being many are one body in Christ. So now, what is he saying? We're one body in Christ. No room for jealousy, envy. No. Amen? No. All right, read. Everyone members one of another. All right, read. Having then gifts different according to the grace that is given to us. Uh-huh. Whether prophecy, let us prophesy according to the proportion of faith. Or ministry, let us wait on our ministry. Ministry, or he that teacheth on teaching, or he that exhorteth on exhortation, he that giveth, let him do it with simplicity. He that ruleth with diligence, he that showeth mercy with cheerfulness. Now these are all gifts. Huh? These are all gifts given to the body of Christ to promote unity in the body. Amen. Amen. Uh, uh, there's a difference between a talent and a gift. Amen. We are born with talents. Amen. Gifts are given uh, by the Spirit. According to the definition of a gift, is something that's given to you. Huh? That you're not born with. Amen. So God gives us gifts huh? according to how he's going to use us in the body. Amen. So, so if I got a problem with my gift or how I'm being used, who should I go to? Uh, God, go to take that up with God. <laughs> uh, thank you, Lord. And then if you do take it up with God, hopefully he'll open your understanding so you can appreciate your gift. Yeah. Amen? Thank you. The worst thing a person can do is give somebody a gift and they not appreciate it. Uh, my God. God gives us gifts. We should appreciate them. Yes. Huh? My brother? This is a question. Uh-huh. Um, is, it, is it possible that... Is it possible that we can be... I don't want to say operate. We can have the gift before we... Give our life to God. No. 
Because, not... because the gift comes with the spirit. Mm -hmm. Right. And we, we don't have the spirit um, before we give our life to God. Amen. And the reason I say that, you know how they say, well, people, well, you got the gift of God. Oh, I, 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 I was but, connecting that to people who later on become preachers. Well, well see, there's a difference. There's the <laughs> gift of gab, then there's the gift of preaching. Right. Yeah. Right. So those are well, well, one's I'm, natural, I'm, I'm one's spiritual. Yeah, 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 I see yeah, what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. 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 But it's like people that, you know, talk to them. I know, I see right. what you're saying. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but that gift. Right. It comes with the spirit. Right. As a spiritual gift from God to be used in the body of Christ. Mm -hmm. So how about talents you're born with? So can you, can your talent be connected to your spiritual gift? Maybe that's it's, more what I want to ask. No, it's two different things. No, two, like okay, talents. So, no, talents. Okay, talent. can I give you an example? Go ahead. If somebody was young and they liked to sing. Uh -huh. they, they was always in talent shows and stuff. Uh -huh. this, was, this was before they came to God. Uh -huh. Then they gave their life to God and found out they were a praise and worship singer. Uh huh. That's all, that's what I'm saying. Uh, you know. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, if you're if you're, I'm gonna say it this way. That's not how God looks at it. Oh right. All right. Just, yeah. now, now, if you if you have the gift to sing, I mean the talent to sing, yes. that's a blessing. Right. 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 But when you're Gifted to sin. I understand the uh, Now yeah. it's a whole nother thing. Because the anointing is one. Right. right. That's right. the key. Yeah, yeah. That's I, the key. Yeah, yeah I understand what That's the key. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. Yeah, but the gifting is just a, then yeah. come, right. comes comes with the anointing. anointing. Right. Uh, so before, and, and then I want to say this: before you come to God, it's just it's a desire. But now, when God, you give your life to Christ, now it's a calling. It becomes different. Well, you may not have had the uh, 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 the desire to preach or teach or, or to sing or to, to give uh, before you came to the Lord. But when you came to the Lord, uh, that's when he uh, that's when he gifted you. He gifted you. Gave you grace. Gift, yeah. Gifted you with that particular gifting. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's different from a talent. Talents yeah. and gifts are totally different. Oh yeah, I agree. Yeah. With, I agree yeah. with that. I agree with okay. that. I got some scripture. No, uh, I agree oh, with let that. me hit my brother and I hit you. Okay, go ahead, mother. Uh huh. You know, and a talent, it, it doesn't do the same thing. Nobody, you can benefit from right. a talent. Right. It doesn't have the soul at all. Uh huh. It it don't, uh, uh, a gift of, from God will cause you to uh, focus on God. Uh -huh. Somebody with a gift, if it's a speech, no matter what it is, they're going to say something to cause you, your spiritual eye to open mm -hmm. in some way, whether you. Be obedient to it or not, but it benefits the soul. Mm -hmm. Well, where the talent, the talent, just something that you is created in you by God. Because, because God gives talents, yeah. then He gives gifts. Yeah. Right. It's different. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. My brother. Many, many years ago, I hate to say it, like twenty plus years ago, when I was in college, <laughs> uh, we Hayes, uh, Hayes Junior and I went to uh, Lansing, Michigan. Doing a paper uh, about whatever it was, and we had a meeting with uh, Bishop Singleton, Bishop Alfred Singleton. Oh yeah, I'll never forget. He's sitting in front of his desk, and I'm kind of in awe. You know, this is an OG in the bishop, and, uh, and Hayes asked him a question about gifts and talents. What we're talking about, uh -huh. and he said that the same thing that you're saying is that talents, you're born with talents, and gifts are an anointed level. Yeah. And an anointed tool. Yes. I like that. Uh, for the edification of the people. Yes. Spiritual edification. Yes. And he said, but if you ever get somebody, and he said the gifts are anointed. Yes. He said, you ever get somebody who's talented, gifted, and anointed, you got an unstoppable machine. Unstoppable. Yeah. And so we have to take and value our talents. Yes. Because those may be routes for us to get to. 
be anointed enough to be gifted in that mm. sense. Because again, some people you can sing well. Right. But when God gifts their singing, yes. it becomes anointed yep. Yep. in lives. As Mother was saying, my, one of my favorite Sunday school teachers, as I said earlier, <laughs> um, it, it touches hearts. Touch it. And souls. Yeah. And it changes the minds. Yeah. 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 It gets in our psyche. That's right. That's and it, 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 it's long lasting. Yeah. I can hear a song that had me in the moment for a moment. Uh -huh. But when the, the gifting of God's music and psalmist gets in my soul, it yeah. changes my life. Yeah. 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 And there's a difference. Different. Yeah. Huge yeah. difference. Yeah. And, and everyone that comes to Christ gets a gift. Yeah. Uh, you may even get mm. more than one gift. Amen. Mm. So you are sitting, I don't want to say sitting, but you're sitting on a gift. You have a gift. Yeah. Amen. A gift yeah. from God. Some, huh? Yeah, God gives them without repentance. Right. So we have a responsibility gifts not to sit on them. Right. Yeah, don't sit on them. Because don't sit on your gift. He's looking for a return on don't that. Because yeah. you, you know why? Yeah. If I sit on my gift, then chaos comes into the church. That's right. If we're sitting on our gifts, Disunity happens. If we sit on our gifts, uh, 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 the enemy gets an advantage. Uh, I, I got I often, I often watch. You know, I look at westerns and uh, 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 stuff like that. You know, uh, you know, before they used to fight with swords. You know, but when they came in with the with the with the gun, the machine gun, that changed the whole scope of things. Uh, you follow me? You follow what I'm saying? Uh, you, what would you rather fight with, a gun or a sword? Uh, a gun. Changes. Uh, so, so, you know, the enemy, he fights with us with swords, but God has given us major weapons. Uh, and if I sit on my major weapon that can change the atmosphere, that can change souls, uh, that can save and deliver, cause unity in the body, uh, then that's a disservice to God. A disservice to the body. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. wow. Bishop, I'm, I'm sorry I keep talking. Uh, <laughs> Join the crowd! <laughs> uh, when we sit on our gifts, that's when talent takes over. Woo! That's when I like that. Happens. That's when we can have a good song, but nobody's changed. Right, right. right. So we have to let the gifts Woo! Again, something's gonna come up. Something's gonna come up. Oh, 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 oh,
And I looked at my wife, I said, you, you feel like <laughs> this? You feel like the Holy Ghost is doing it? She was like, no, nah, I ain't got it either, Corey. I don't feel that. Well, good. I was checking myself. Well, I was yeah. <laughs> well, we thank everybody for coming. We bless God for you.